I'm going to come over to this chart here by way of review real quick. No need to explain all of this. If you haven't seen this in the previous videos, please look at the previous videos. Here's our equator, Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, our ecliptic line, waters above the dragon head, waters below the dragon tail, our polar axis, south pole, north pole, our celestial axis, moving over 26,000 years, 47 degrees. Our constellations moving through here, this is the direction of our sun, direction of our moon, direction of our planets, and the direction of the equinoxes in this direction. The dragon is pulling the equinoxes in the opposite direction of everything that's going through the uh, Nazareth or the gospel presentation of the constellations. Now onto this chart here. Here we have our equator, where we have our ecliptic line coming through here, showing us the direction of our sun, direction of our moon, direction of our planets. These crossings right here are known as nodes. These are the crossings by which the sun drops below the equator, comes back up, comes above the equator. These points right here are known as the equinoxes, and of course your solstices are right here. Now, we'll get back to this in just a minute. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to straighten it out. This is our sun right here. This is the line that the sun follows as it's coming across this way like so. Okay? The sun is always on this line right through here. And then along this line, we have the planets and the moon move up and down along this line. There are also nodes on this line. And these nodes uh, are the points of crossing. It's at these points right here, as the, as the moon and the planets uh, come across this, that solar and lunar eclipses can take place. These nodes move in different directions depending on what time of year and where they're at. Just like we have above the equator, the dragon head and the waters above, the dragon tail and the waters below, we also have along this ecliptic line that comes this way like this, and we see the movement of the planets coming across the ecliptic line here, we have the dragon head, everything above the ecliptic line is considered the, the dragon head, and everything below the uh, ecliptic line is considered the dragon tail. Kind of move over this way so you can see this. Okay, everything above the dragon head is considered, above the ecliptic line is considered the dragon head, everything below the ecliptic line is considered the dragon tail. Okay, you see this, this line, sort of like this coming across here, and you can see the node points at the points of crossing. These nodes are the places where solar and lunar eclipses take place. So I'm going to stop here for just a moment, let you a chance to look at this, and we'll prepare for our next video. Thank you.